This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. I'm just relaxing, chilling, man, chilling like a villain. The one and only ape father chilling on his bed. Wow! You know, let me tell you why I respect Teddy Zane and why I don't respect Uncle Fester Lou, okay? At least Teddy is real. Look, do I agree with Teddy Zay that he's going to sell his AMC? He's out. No, I don't agree with it. I think it's a stupid move. But that's my opinion. Teddy at least has the respect, okay, and the balls to be straight with us. Like, he can lie to us. He can be like, like I'm going to stay here and I'm staying with you. No, he's honest. He's a straight shooter. He tells it like it is. And you know something? I respect that in life. Like, I would rather, like, if I was, I'm married, obviously, right now. But if I was single and I was with a girl, you know, I would rather, you know, that song, Keep Me, Hold It On. Um, It's a good song. But the point of the song is, like, the guy kept her going. Like, the guy had no interest in her. He didn't want her in his life, but for some reason he kept her. Who knows why? Maybe it was a sex thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, guys are messed up, you know, and girls can be messed up too. But the point is, I like it when people are just a straight shooter. Look, I don't want to be with you. I don't like you. I think you're fat. I think you eat too much. Okay, look, that's all honesty, right? It's like that song with Billy Joel. Honesty, you know what I mean? It's such a lonely word, right? Okay, so it's better to be honest. You know who's not honest? Uncle Festa, Lou. Okay, so let's start with the big, uh, the big proof. You want the uh, big example here? So he said that we were going to squeeze March third. Correct? Did it happen? Then he said that we were going to squeeze when the transparency rule went into effect. Didn't happen. Okay. Then he said that if we don't squeeze the end of March, we're not going to squeeze at all. Okay. These are all facts. I heard them with my own ears. Okay. You know what's messed up, though, is that now, come the end of March, you're going to still see Uncle Festa, Lou, making AMC videos. You want to know why? Because he doesn't own any AMC. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about no apes. He doesn't care about AMC. He doesn't care about our movement. He cares that he's making $40,000 a month on YouTube. So what he's going to do is he's going to continue to just make up Walt Disney stories, uh, you know, make all these false predictions on what's going to cause this. Aliens are going to come like the movie, you know, Water Worlds with Tom Cruise. There are aliens buried on the Earth. Once the alien ships, you know, come come up from under the Earth, the AMC squeeze is going to start. He's going to come up with so many. He's going to shock you. He's going to come up with so many new stories of what's going to start the squeeze. I mean, I, I at this point, nothing surprises me with this guy. Nothing surprises me with this guy. This guy will probably say, this probably guy will say, Sammy the Bull Gravano is going to start the squeeze. He'll say anything. He'll say, you know that guy, that, you know. He was known to rat on John Gotti. He was the other boss of the Gambino family. Well, he has a connection on Wall Street that's going to blow your mind. He's going to start to scream. He'll say anything. Okay. And don't, by the way, no disrespect to Sammy Bogomato. I mean, you know, listen. I mean, you know, he was still, what are you going to do? Listen to me. You know what I mean? He did what he had to do, I guess, to survive, right? He knew he was dead. That was it. It got to the point where the government told him, look, A, you go to jail the rest of your life. B, you're finished. He chose C. He chose C. He chose to rat. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> we come from, from where I come from, you don't rat. You know, you, you stay in prison the rest of your life. That's it. You don't rat. But he chose to rat. I guess if anybody was placed, was put in that situation where you're going to spend life imprisonment, they might choose to, look at this. I look like a, I don't know what I look like, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just look kind of funny, right? But look, ratting is not a good thing. You're not supposed to rat. I'm sorry, Sammy. I mean, even though, you know, Sammy was a, he was a made man. You know, he was, a, he was, a, he was very respected in Staten Island. You know, my wife's family knew him. They, you know, he lived uh, in Staten Island. He lived, uh, in the, you, you, where he lived, you would never believe it. It was like a very family orientated neighborhood, you know, and you would never think in a million years that that your next door, imagine your next door neighbor is Sammy the Bull Gravano, you know, like you're like, hey, how you doing, you know, <laughs> you know, 
Sammy, you know, you want to, you want let me bring you over, like, out of respect. Yeah, listen, let me bring you over a little uh, brajoli, a little pasta, a little meatballs. It's all, it's all the house. It's respect, you know. Imagine he's your next door neighbor. But the thing is, listen, I understand what he did. He did something to save his life. But again, it's against the code that he lived by. You don't rat. Now, you might be like, what are you talking about? I'm to There's a connection with Uncle Fester with all of this, okay? Uncle Fester, to me, is a rat, <laughs> Okay, because he does things for his own benefit. He saves his ass. The way Sammy Gravano saved his ass, Uncle Festa saves his ass. You understand? He he doesn't care about us. He just wants to keep making money. And he'll keep, you know, pushing lies and lies and lies down our throat. Okay, for as long as he can keep making that ad revenue on YouTube. And that's the bottom line.